Okay, this is Barbara Illestad with the Mesquite Citizen Journal, and we're here uh, Saturday morning, January 12th, with um, Mark Buchanan and Michelle Brooks. Um, and we're at the kickoff of the Relay for Life um, that's coming up in April. And um, Mark is going to explain to us um, what the event is about and how people can participate. Um, so, Mark? Take it away. and yeah, the best we can. <laughs> Michelle just walked yeah. up and said, I really don't know anything about it. So uh, Relay for Life is, is the biggest fundraiser in the world. Um, and for cancer, it's, it raises more money than all of the other cancer fundraisers put together. It actually, it's very convenient. It began in 1985. This, uh, I can't remember his name, but he decided to walk the track and People paid him per lap, or per hour, or something, and he raised eighteen thousand dollars or something for cancer. And now there are five thousand events in the world, just like this one. Wow! We've been doing it in Mesquite for four years, I think, and it was in Moapa Valley for nine years before that. And I've been involved uh, in a lot of those. But basically, it's it's a fundraiser, but it's also educational. Right. We want people to know about cancer. Um, so you get businesses or individuals. Last year we had a family that had 17 people come to the event from Payson, Utah and Colorado. Uh, their father had died the year before of cancer and they saw the information and they came and participated. So on April 19th and 20th, we're, we start at 7 p.m. on Friday and end at 7 a.m. on Saturday. Okay. It's an all-night event, and the reason is cancer never sleeps. You know, people who have cancer or caregivers are up in the middle of the night, oftentimes either in pain or worrying about what's going on. So they do, we always do the event overnight, and um, how can people uh, participate here in this gate? How do they sign up? How do they? Um... Well, one of the reasons we're here today is to talk, is to get people to sign up. In the room next door, we have registration going on. You can actually go online. Um, I think it's Relay for Life Mesquite NV dot org. Okay, like we'll that. check that out and put it in the article. <laughs> and, and on there you can you can make a donation or you can join a team or you can start your own team. So businesses and individuals have a team and then they, between now and April, they raise money. Okay. And then they come to the event in April and each team has to have somebody walking the track somebody on the track all night long. Okay. So So that's where the relay comes from. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not a foot race. It's not, you know, some people will run. Uh, I had a guy, a kid, high school kid last year that ran, that walked, walked and ran 30 miles that night. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, and he had got donations per mile, but you don't have to do that. You just, I did all my fundraising last year online sent emails out and people went to the website and, and donated and I I raised uh, $750 I think. No, oh, congratulations. Uh, we, so the night is fun too. Yeah. There's entertainment all night long, which I've already got approved from the city. Okay. Um, <laughs> now where is the relay going to it take will be place at? the at? high school. Okay, at the high and school. we walk the track. Okay. Uh, each team will set up what we call their camp, and they can have a tent, and, and they might have some kind of fundraising event that night. Okay. People do all different kinds of things that night. And you can have a tent there so if people want to try and sleep. Right. And you don't have, not everybody has to stay all night. You know, I've done okay. that. I've stayed all night, and uh, it's fun. But most of the time, people will come, you know, if you're going to walk between 1 and 2, you, you come and do your walk. Uh, but it's just, it's a fun thing. One of the, and then we have activities. We do different laps, like I think our theme this year is there's no place like hope. So it's a Wizard of Oz theme. Oh, okay. So we're going to do one lap at like 1 o'clock in the morning where everybody skips. 
the whole lap. Uh, for me, one of the uh, best things, I, I did this last year. Um, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I set up my video camera alongside the track where we were walking, and I stopped people, and I asked them, why are you here at 2 o'clock in the morning? And I have that video here, and it's on YouTube. Wow. So I was there for an hour and a half videotaping these people, telling me their stories. Uh -huh. you know, um, now you have a lot of uh, cancer survivors, speaking of you know, people's stories. Um, yeah. it's, it's not just in memory of a loved one, but it's That's in right. honor of those who have survived um, some form of cancer. That's Is that right. true? Yeah, that's a, okay. in fact. Uh, you were introducing me earlier to some of your volunteers and that, uh, that they were cancer survivors. Yeah, on our committee, uh, the majority of the people are cancer survivors. Okay. And one of the things that you do at every Relay for Life event is the first lap is what we call the survivor lap. Okay. And we invite everybody from the community. They don't have to be on a team. Uh, last year we wanted to try and get 300 people on that first lap. We had 125. Okay. Uh, so this year we're shooting for 300 people. Uh, so the, the very first lap is survivors and their caregivers. Uh -huh. um, you know, and we you have people who obviously are fighting cancer as they walk. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a very moving thing. Uh, oh, goodness. Another thing we yeah. do is there's a luminaria when it gets dark. Uh -huh. We take these paper bags and we put a glow stick in them. We shut off all the lights and we put the paper bags around the track or on the, the grandstands. And these yeah. are, I see um, some of these say in memory of. Yeah, people um, purchase okay. a bag for. I think it's ten dollars, and uh -huh. then they can decorate it however they want and say who it's to, and okay, um, and all the lights go out, and you just have these candle lit bags. Oh, that would and, be moving. And a lap of silence. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go on in. Okay. It's a it's a very moving uh, event. You know, I don't I don't have a direct <laughs> relative who. Uh, died from cancer or is a cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. um, kind of my story, when I taught, I actually taught school, I taught first and second grade a hundred years ago, and I had a student who had uh, leukemia, and I, he was very sick, and I tutored him at home okay. and, until he died. Oh. So, okay. you know, that's kind of my story. My wife, uh -huh. uh, Kathy, we went to, we got, I, I'm the chairperson uh -huh. and have last year and this year and that happened because we went to a meeting in Vegas and they said oh there'd be six people or eight people there from Mesquite, well Kathy and I were the only ones there and so I said I'll be the chairperson and one of the reasons was there was a guy there who was doing one of the presentations and he talked about his father died of uh, colon cancer in the 70s mm -hmm. and during his presentation he showed this chart where the research and the that's been done how many lives have been saved in the last 20 years because of advancements in in cancer treatments uh -huh. and, and detection yeah and one of them was related to colon cancer and so there was this you know, I don't know, it's thousands of lives saved. And I look over and, and my wife's crying, at, looking at this chart. And I'm like, what's going on? And she realized her dad was one of those saved lives. Because oh, in the 90s, he yeah. got colon cancer. Uh -huh. And he's still alive. Oh, wow. You know, so, uh, yeah. It's an important thing. It is. And you know, cancer touches everybody. Yeah. There's nobody that's not touched by it. Absolutely. Um, now, all the money you raise, um, where do those funds go? All of the money actually goes to the American Cancer Society. Okay. And they have lots of different programs. I know people say, well, we want the money to stay local. Well, not all of it stays local. Okay. So, some does. Okay. Our local cancer society actually gets uh, gasoline vouchers from the American Cancer Society. Okay. All of the educational material you see there and at your doctor's office and in the schools 
is provided by the American Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. There's um, a website and a hotline, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Anybody who has any concerns about cancer can talk to somebody who actually is a professional who knows about cancer. Okay. And that's available to everybody. So kind of a helpline, hotline. Yes. Okay. The majority of the American Cancer Society money goes to research. Okay. You know, to find a cure. Right. And which is really significant because there are thousands of uh, requests for grants to do additional research from the top professionals in the world uh -huh. that get turned down every year because there's not enough funds. Yeah. In other words, there could be more research going on right now if there were more funds. Uh -huh. And so, you know, that touches everybody. Right. And not everybody in Mesquite, the, the relative or friend they have that has cancer actually lives in Mesquite. Right. You know, yeah, so, that's, that's a good point. Um, it, it doesn't come back. You can't count it coming back to Mesquite like you can the can of food you take down to the food bank. Uh huh. But it ultimately touches everybody. Yeah. And some of it does come directly back to Mesquite. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Thank we appreciate you, your time and good luck. And uh, we'll be helping you promote this uh, through the next couple months. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you.